Sokol. That's what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? All right, so uh, today's vlog will be about you and how you can monetize you or uh, essentially any business model that is uh, online or offline as long as you turn it online. So these are four ways in which you can make a uh, little money in a lot of places which essentially means that you make a lot of money out of making a little money. Alright, so uh, what I will take you through in this video are essentially the four ways that you can sort of um, monetize yourself. And look, there is a little slide. And when I made slides, you know, I'm serious. And so this is what this video will be about. Monetization. Now, the simplest way of monetizing anything online is essentially looking at streams. You have, uh, if you do music, you know, you have more options, but most of us, we can, uh, we have to settle with, with, uh, with streaming on YouTube, because that's the, like, that's the simplest way of earning money. You just connect your YouTube account to your AdSense account, and uh, yeah. You know, you make a little fraction of money every time you publish anything. Uh, so, yeah, that's the first first thing you should do. Hook up to all the streaming possibilities that you have. Uh, so that's number one, streams. Streams. All right, so the hack you need to know with, with, uh, with streams is that you need to put all your, your uh, 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 content up on uh, a platform with Creative Commons uh, as a license type and not be stingy about it. And the reason for that is that if you have Creative Commons you will be uh, uh, much more likely to be discovered by, by someone. And so, uh, yeah, then people start remixing your content and then you end up in other people's uh, uh, vlogs, uh, blogs, <laughs> and other other places uh, where people can discover you. So, yeah, make sure you put uh, make sure you put everything on Creative Commons, as that will uh, help you um, get discovered more. And that's the sort of major hack when it comes to to. Um, <laughs> working with 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 streams and trying to upsell and monetize that and to end up in playlists naturally but that one you already knew but the thing you're not doing today is to open your content for remixes but that's like the secondary and uh, biggest source of traffic that you'll get so do it Right, so the second part of this is is uh, merchandise, and pe people generally think of merchandise as um, you know selling clothes or things like that, and that can be done quite simply by offering drop shipping, uh, where you don't actually have to have an inventory, but you can just assign some prints, and that will help you out incredibly. However, uh, there are a lot other ways to, to sell merchandise, even though you don't have any merchandise. And so one of those ways is to uh, join an affiliate network uh, where you can uh, earn you know, a, a fraction of, or a, a part, like 10%, 20% of, of the full retail price. And so you offer other people's products and you get um, you get to earn a part of that. Uh, the third thing is all the scrap content that you're doing or that you're creating, uh, such as photos. Uh, if you take a photo, for example, you know you should upload that onto a platform where you can sell it. If you film sundowns like like this one.
like that one. Uh, you can you can put that on on uh, YouTube and you can uh, put a little sales link on it. You know, if you don't offer it as Creative Commons, uh, as I said, you should offer some of your content, not all of your content. I don't think I said that, but yeah, you should offer some of your content on Creative Commons and some of it you should sh sell as merchandise. So if you're already creating content, then you should be able to sell it. Uh, and uh, I mean. There are a lot of websites out there like Fiverr and those websites where you can publish things and sell them although you don't think of them as merchandise today you know you can make money out of them so they should be your merchandise so that's the second thing you can earn money on So the, the third one, which is a bit of a secret, that's why I'm hiding under a table. Uh, the, the third one is about followers and, uh, and supporters. And today there are a few supporter networks out there, such as, as um, uh, this one, uh, which is called Patreon. But there are other supporter networks out there that you can use. And people sign up and they pay you about five bucks a month or something like that to help you continue to do what you do. And it's a great way to get a monthly income so that you can earn money when you sleep. So that's the third way for you to make money. Now, uh, the fourth and final way to earn money on just uh, uh, doing you uh, is to work with crowdfunding. Crowdfunding will not work until you have at least 1,000 dedicated followers. Um, and uh, the way to get those followers is to work on a scheme that I call like three a day, where you recruit three new uh, followers uh, subscriber supporters per day uh, it takes you about two hours three hours depending upon how much equity you have online already and you know the more followers you have the easier it will be to get more but three a day is a pace that I find suitable and that means that you'll have a thousand people following you in a year and the way that I define such a person is that they are willing to pay you ten bucks a month to keep you going uh, with what you're doing so they will the, the the total income per uh, follower is 10 bucks per month meaning streaming merchandise and supporters um, so they won't be paying you 10 bucks a month but uh, their total you know views on your YouTube videos their purchases of merch and uh, their supporter uh, fees will be a total of, of uh, $10 per month. Once you have a thousand of them, you can come up with whatever dream project you have that you sort of uh, really, really want to do. And uh, then you use a platform such as Kickstarter or Indiegogo or such a platform in order to launch your, uh, your project. Uh, so the whole thing there goes, you know, you come up with an idea you make a video of it, you make a detailed description of what you want to accomplish and then you put it on one of those platforms and then you engage your 1000 uh, supporters uh, to promote your scheme. You don't ask them for money, you ask them to support you. So they will help you with publishing links on Reddit, they will, uh, uh, they will uh, write articles to their local newspaper, they will contact bloggers for you, you know, they will do all the outreach for you so that you'll reach as many pop people as possible um, that will then uh, give money to help you accomplish uh, your project. From experience, uh, there is a problem with friends lists. Um, those friends lists are good to have as a base network for reach. However, uh, friends for some reason tend to not back projects financially. However, what they do do is that they are willing to share your stuff to find other people who will be willing to back you. And those followers, uh, which will then turn into your supporters, <laughs> Uh, they are where, where the money game is. Those guys are the ones that will actually bring in the dough. So um, 
Although you might have 2,000 friends on Facebook, that doesn't mean that you have enough, a thousand supporters. But use those 2,000 friends on Facebook to build your supporters, uh, who will then be the people who will be doing most of the work with regards to, to um, uh, publishing online. Yeah, so all in all, those guys are the ones that will actually help you out reaching your goals. Although they will not be putting in more money because they're already putting in 10 bucks a month, uh, they will be the ones recruiting the other people uh, who uh, will then help you fulfill your dream. So that's the fourth way of, of working with this. Uh, gather a thousand sub supporters and then use them to, to, to crowdfund uh, whatever project that you have in mind. So, yeah.